worked at CFA. You left earlier than I did. I left. Uh, I left right when COVID hit. Yeah, when COVID hit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, when COVID hit, like we we closed up shop and we never came back. I mean, yeah, we you didn't come back. Yeah. And so I we didn't come back. The whole the whole store didn't come. It's like maybe two months, months after later. it was. We were doing like you know outside stuff. And you know, I would just want you to, like you know tell me about your time at Chick Fil A. Things you like learned there. You know, maybe you know things you realized there. And yeah, just tell me just about Chick Fil A. Things you realized there too, because I think it was your is was it your first job when you came to this country? Yeah, first job yeah, ever, first job. like ever. Exactly, and yeah. So just tell me about Dang. the whole experience, so the CFA like, experience. Chick Fil A is a blessing, man. Yeah. Like. I love my job. I loved working fast food. That was crazy. And <laughs> no, maybe, see that. no, maybe I appreciated it more because it was literally the only place that hired me because I applied to hundreds of jobs coming here and nobody said anything. And this was the only place that boom, they're like coming for an interview and then boom, next week I'm working and I got to get a new perspective on life in New York, in America as a whole, because coming from Guatemala, we all fantasize America. I think. <laughs> I think every immigrant fantasizes America because it's like a place to get catch your, your dreams. Like, yeah, to catch your dreams, to pursue whatever you have in your heart, you know? Where dreams come true. That's what we think of America. We yeah. think it's the best place ever. Yeah. But um, going to Chick fil A, where literally all my coworkers were black or Latino. The only white people were the managers or like yeah. the owner. In both? In both? Uh, both locations, yeah. Okay. And it was more noticeable in the city. And just getting to know the coworkers, the people who had it rough, it gave me a new perspective on that reality that it's hard everywhere, no matter what country. But also it gave me a new perspective on people working fast food and retail. Because at home, thank thank God I was like well off, you know, middle class, middle working class. So sometimes I would see my dad treating people in working in those industries less than. Because at least in Guatemala, a lot of people who end up in those jobs is because they really have no education, no other way. So it makes you think, oh, if you work fast food, then that means you're a failure. That means you don't know what's better, what's best for you. But then when I went to Chick-fil-A, I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm a smart woman who's coming here to America to get a college degree. Yeah. And all my coworkers were on the same page yeah. or they were starting up their businesses. This yeah. guy, he's now a producer. He's a yeah. DJ and another guy, he wants to start a fashion line. And like you, you have this podcast. Like we all have dreams. We're all hardworking people. Mm -hmm. which, yeah. Like you need to respect everybody. You know, no matter where you're working, that yeah. doesn't define your story. Yeah, that's true. I could say the same thing for my country too. Like where we come from, when you people who work in fast food and work this lower, like janitors and stuff, we see them. We tend to see them as lower behind because I, I think I was. I wasn't like high up in Nigeria, but I wasn't like the bottom of the bottom. I was like in the middle, you know. Yeah. Well, I was very, very lucky because majority of the country, I could, I could see the same from Guatemala too. And God, damn, I'm sweating. Bro, I'm it. glistening. <laughs> but yeah, uh, in our country, um, we tend to look at the people like below us, like, oh my God, you're working fast food. You know, maybe you don't have education. Maybe you got like pregnant early and you know you want to yeah, work early. Yeah. And when you come here, like, oh shit. And the thing that when I came here, it's like, these are young people. Because maybe in other countries, you can say, like, maybe in the like, 30s, 40s, they're here working you got there. 15 year olds in yeah. the mall? That was crazy. Yeah. And, they, and they're working, and you're like, oh, these people are in school and they're making money. So, in a way, like, you're kind of doing good. And I know it's like, it comes from humble beginnings. So it's not like you have connections. Because some people here, they'll be like, oh, you know, my dad is a lawyer and stuff. So I could just get connections and not work. I never ever have to work fast food. But I think it's really important that everyone. Everyone needs a job like this. Like everyone needs, like in a way, suffer. Cause it's humbling. It's humbling. It's, it is humbling. Cause particularly in a way, it's it's a good job and like the culture there is good and everything. But it's like a family, on, bro. Yeah, on a Saturday and when it's like really busy, on a Friday night when it's really busy and you're grinding and like the customers sometimes have a mean to you and stuff like that and you try to be calm. Like you know, this is fine. This is good. And yeah. I don't know. It's just for me, it was a it was you could say I could say it's a humbling experience, especially for immigrants. And I could say. Especially in the reserve, the reserve, the reserve the field one. Yes. There was a lot of immigrants, like children of immigrants who were working there, like you know, black from the Caribbean. I know Haitians worked there. A lot of people from Guatemala, El Salvador worked there. Yeah, yeah. And the back and the front, and when Af a lot of African Americans from this country, like basically the minorities that that mostly work uh, in the country, in the in the store. And I would say it's a humbling experience because sometimes I'm like. Fuck, man! Like I hate this shit. But like, it, it's like you know, you you have to earn money to like you know support yourself, yes, support your yes. family and stuff. And it's just it's like an only way. It's not like you just jump into a nine to five, beautiful job like that. 
So I think yeah, everyone, yeah. Every, I think everyone needs it, especially the youngsters. It, it helps you value like. There's the obvious reason, which is helps you value money in a different way. Because you worked your butt off. Like, 12-hour shift or whatever. You were standing all day, put up with everybody's crap, yeah. and that money is yours. Yeah. So now you spend it differently. But it's just what you said, like, dealing with customers and all that. It just gives you a new perspective in the world. Like, yeah. you... The world is not it's not about you. Yeah, Life true. is not about you. Yeah. There's so many out there. So it's just, again, it's humbling. It gives you a new perspective on how you should treat others treat yourself as well give yourself more credits for what you're doing and it's something said about money too like especially when i'm about to spend money i'm like bro how many hours do i work for this yeah i'm like i don't want to spend it that's why i'm cautious about spending money and i'm like if, if i spend if i spend big i'm like fuck man like i have to i have to like work again and get this money back bro, i'm cheap on it. I'm yeah cheap. yeah it's good i think everyone regardless of who you are like you should be cheap there are billionaires that don't have any gucci belts and they live in like you know uh small house and stuff like that and yeah. um yeah like it really taught me a lot about money and i think i was saving my money like so much and mm. it, it was it was truly a humbling experience and you know and it wouldn't like it's it's for me i didn't see a lot of like white people there and it's not just that all oh, like white people don't have ease and stuff which is like i feel like for minorities and immigrants we're in the suburban area yeah. so it's just a completely different demographic when you have white people here yeah. like in new york you go to long island to retire you go there to settle down like you're well off already you can afford long island so. yeah so something i want to ask you is like how do you how do you how would you deal with like customers and stuff because i know you have faced customers that were like you know oh, yeah, shitty and trash work yeah. in front of house definitely manhattan there were Every, it was crazier in Manhattan than in the mall but for me something that I tell everybody that I trained while working there is don't take it personal never take it personal you never know if this person's giving you this attitude because they had a bad day something bad happened to them before and they just take it out on you because they see us as disposable people basically. yeah they yeah. don't see us as people sometimes they're probably lower like you said yeah, yeah. the way we treated them they're yeah. treating us that way yeah. so don't take it personally because they don't know you, you don't know them, and they'll be gone. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's, it's like kinda, you have to have a strong heart for this. It's not for the, like, you know, it's not for the weak people. Because they'll yell at you and like, oh, I'm going to start crying and stuff. So One like, time yeah. they made me cry. Once. Okay, well, Once. hey, that's good. Some, some, some people just like walk away like, oh my God, I'm not doing this. But like, it took place like, you know, our, our culture is like, you know, be nice and stuff. And even sometimes if I'm into you, even like anywhere in any like food service uh, place, because in other countries, if you're rude to them, they're like, okay, like, I'm going to be rude to you back. But like, here, we try to, like, you know, take it in and, and just be calm I mean, about Chick -fil -A it. Chick-fil-A specifically made it harder because, like, we're known for this hospitality aspect. Like, yeah. I was in charge of that, like, telling people, yo, you got to smile, make eye contact, speak enthusiastically, you know? Like, those, those are the core four, whatever. They're, there's one that I'm missing, too. But literally, yeah. you just need to be, like... Hello, welcome to Chick-fil-A. How may I serve you today? And then, it's my pleasure. Every time I say thank you, it's my pleasure. Like, yeah. you, you need to show that it is your pleasure to serve them, even when it's not. It's not. And there's some people who are ghetto <laughs> back, too. Like, I, I, know, I know a few people who are, like, who, who, give, who give the attitude back. You might, not, you might not see, like, out there, but, like, you could hear in the tone of voice, like, I'm not, I don't really don't like you. And as I said, it's really hard. Like fast food, everyone thinks it's easy. Or like all these lower menu jobs, everyone thinks it's easy. But like there's some aspects of it where it's like, like really, really, I was mentally challenged at times too and really hard. Yeah, you're under pressure. You have to do everything fast. Yeah. Like how, you know, the, the, the ticket turns red, what, after two minutes or something like that? We need to get an order out before it turns red. Yeah. So, and there's so many orders at the same time. That's true. We're under pressure. And another thing I found out is like, I worked fast food, I feel like so many people are so like, pussy. <laughs> because, okay, listen, I, okay, maybe you're getting an order wrong. Like, in, in the you most little way. Mean? Like, in the, in the little way. Like I said, we didn't give, you didn't give me the right sauce. They'll be like, you didn't give me the right sauce. Like, I'm like, oh, bro, yeah, calm it's down. It's the end of the world if you put too yeah. much ice. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. No. Like, calm down. It's like, ice. it's not. That's why I feel like people. Like for me, if you let's say you mess up my order like in a little way, if like if I, of course in a big way, and I pay for something and you don't give it to me, I'll say something. Yeah. And but I was saying a comment like, um, sir, like you didn't give me this. But some people just drag it. I'm like, oh my god, you didn't give me this like you know bun, the bun I wanted. I'm like, bro, just like be calm. Yeah. That's why I feel like people take things for granted here because in America, it's like there are things that you have like light, water. You have this thing. So like when it comes to 
like small things you you kind of like amplify it like it's not as big of a deal as it yeah, seems yeah you have a higher standard and expectation for services in general once you already have your basic needs fulfilled yeah so then your wants you're turning them you want to turn them into your needs that's why they become so demanding yeah and so picky like yeah. i remember this guy in the city we had our big ketchup packets like the really big ones but then we switched to the r small regular ketchup packets and that guy he knew we switched them and every time i don't know why he always came to me he's like oh you changed the ketchup i'm like same as last week and he's like oh no i hate this why and then he made this whole thing he would scream he did that every week he yeah. come every week I'm like yeah that's right same freaking ketchup I yeah i think people who come from like environments where like you don't have that for the first world luxuries i feel like we tend to be more chiller about these things like okay you know i have ketchup like I'll just you know get more ketchup myself or like fucking eat it I'll eat it like without sauce or like you know I have ketchup at home and stuff. But some people just drag it and I don't know. I feel like and there's like a lot of people. I don't know if it's maybe maybe if, even in like my country too. Like in this in like the poorer countries, like people just like the smaller things just get to them. It's like bro, it's just food. It's not like we fucking poisoned it or something. Maybe we just missed like, the ingredients and stuff. But